will find so many different ways to beat that strategy. And especially afterwards, too, if you have, like, the right questions to ask, you know, a huge moment of growth as no, well. No, I mean, and that, that, that is what separates a mid-level to and from a high level and into a top player, yeah, especially yeah. someone of Nairo's caliber. Mm -hmm. But we looks like we are just going to go and get set up. Uh, Nairo is going to go ahead and pick, uh, just because he usually is the Palutena or the Lucina, yeah, depending yeah. on how he's feeling in the matchups, but just rocking it with the Palutena immediately. Yes, Palutena is so amazing in terms of its ability to, uh, like, it's not just combo ability, but specifically making so many strong callouts of what the opponent wants to do in disadvantage and getting really great punishes with the explosive flame, like right there. Getting Going the, to the auto radical as well. Yeah. 66 unanswered. 79 now off stage. Nairo, please calm down. I think he's looking for a spike. No, he recognizes he doesn't have to. Takes the first stock without taking a scratch. CEO going to need a CPU, rather. Going to really need to dig deep after that sort of uh, opening. Oh, that dive pick actually flanking and trading with that neutral air attempt. Oh, here come the fairs. Yeah. Sixth in a row. Not leading to too much damage, but hey, damage is damage. Now we're just also testing the waters with that really high teleport. Just wanted to get a sense of how prepared CPU is to punish uh, unorthodox recovery angles. All right, not going to lead into anything right after that. Uh, CPU kind of have to go ahead and recognize. Nairo is going to know how to DI all of these combos. Got to mix it up a little bit more. Once again, catching this ledge get up with a perfectly placed explosive flame. Oh, CPU's not going to be able to find that next witch twist. At this point, like, this is when, like, the, the thought bubble of how do I kill pops into your head, especially against a player like Nairo, who the moment things go back to a neutral state, he's not forcing any sort of questions right now. He's enjoying tossing out the explosive flames and the auto reticles and uh, forcing CFU to show that he has an answer. All right, Nairo setting up shop one more time, runs up, turns around, another back air to take that stock away. Uh, the CPU possibly get something here. No, the Nusher not going to find the mark on stuff off stage, but leading in with that afterburner in the air. Here we go, the beginnings of the Nair train. Oh, actually going to get a tech trace on the platform right afterwards. Yeah, now we're recognizing the angle of which the Nutriler was sending CPU, just ran up. New is going to tech away. Mm -hmm. Great spacing. CPU's afterburner kick, but things are looking so scary and. Did this? Okay. Okay. All right. Both players just yeah. kind of agreeing to gentlemen. We'll just run to the opposite sides of the stage. Yeah. A bit uh, of an issue. Nairo stopping real quick. They yeah. looked at each other. He, he did a count on. He's like, all right, three, two, one, go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, unfortunate uh, stream card malfunction. But you know, Murphy's Law always rearing its head. And CPU gonna go ahead and take his own stock. But Nairo is in such a good position. This is around the percent that he's been taking CPU stocks, always at the ledge. Exactly and he takes that it again. percent, GP. Yeah. Exactly that percent. Just you, you just feel it. Alright, so Nairo gonna go ahead and take that first game away from CPU. And really just CPU is getting called out in a lot of his ledge getups. Nairo understanding that invincible shield of his on that back air. You know, regardless of what you push CPU, I'm going to win, I'm going to beat you, and if you burn your double jump, you're not making it back onto stage. And the thing that made it so scary, it wasn't just that Nairo knew what CPU wanted to push, he also knew when CPU didn't want to push something. He kept running off and getting those chumps and back airs, and what that sends to CPU is like, no, you have to keep pressing a button immediately, and I'm going to keep calling you out for it with more and more of these shield bashes. And like you put that on top of the edge guarding that he was getting off of explosive flame and the the gimps as well, like that was really rough to navigate for CPU. I mean, this is this is Nairo. There's a reason why this man is a top four seed here. Mm -hmm. He is one of the players that has really picked apart Ultimate. Has been playing it nonstop since it came out, and it really shows in his play. All right, so we are opting for Hollows for the counter pick. It looks like CPU. Thought about Castle Siege for quite a bit there. He, st he st stayed on the icon for a little bit. He's like, you know what? Why would you go what? Castle Siege against I don't, the Palutena? I don't know. I don't know what Bayo can get from that. What, you want to fair him off the stage? Like, I, that's the only thing I can think of. So, we were just talking about how it was the ledge play that uh, Nairo was really exploding against CEO and I, uh, CPU. Yeah. And I, think I guess that was better on Siege. Why would you do that? No, no, but... Oh okay, yeah, Kalos is going to be almost the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. 
definitely so. All right, Nairo coming in with these jabs. Uh, not gonna go ahead and get anything, just putting up that pressure onto the shield. Here, speaking of shields, that back air still just threatening over and over. CPU cannot get up in there. Ends up getting clipped by Neutraler as well. Nairo, are you gonna go ahead and do this? Ends up getting a grab. Down throw this time around, mixing up the DI. One neutral air, two neutral, we can get a triple. No, ends up going for the falling upper. A triple upper, 53% Nairo, lapping CPU, finally able to go in and answer himself. But, you know, this is why we all love to watch Nairo. He is just so innovative and creative to really just make the combos like this on the fly. Trade coming out, back air for forward air. All right, here we go, forward throw. Still not enough to go ahead and take that stock. Trying to charge up those bullets, see if any sort of opening presents itself. All right, one more, yes, that is going to take it away, G-Pick. CPU getting himself on the board now. Back air, oh, he's good. Poke away. Oh man, the fast of the end saving CPU's life, letting him retreat back to that ledge and get on a little bit more life on the stock. There goes Not the back throw. He's tossing him right off of this stage, and Nairo in a familiar position as he was in game one. Up a whole stock, two to one. <laughs> Alright, quick, quick foot still there. He does not want to do anything. Just reset this neutral right quick. Relying on this ledge for safety, we have to see CPU kind of able to leave it for very long because whenever he makes it to center stage, Nairo manages to exploit an opening very soon after. Uh, CPU gonna have to go ahead and be careful with that. He saw the first couple of hits of the neutraler come out for Palatina on his shield, went for that shield grab, but with all the hitboxes that are on there, you may not want to do that because the next time around you're gonna need you know, a couple of neutralers. Oh, yeah. How great by Nairo just notices CPU still hiding in his shield. Picks him up with a grab right afterwards. Oh, ends up going for a counter there. He was expecting an aggressive option out from CPU. It's not the case this time around. But CPU might have used all his options. He did. Gets up a little too quickly and eats a back air. Again, that's the same.